we became friends first. And um, then one day Kate asked me what I was working on at the time. And I said, oh, you know, I've been working on um, an exhibition and some exhibition pieces, um, going back and finding old fairy tales where girls and women had their own agency. They, um, I know those, these stories are out there. Um, there have always been tales of brave young women and kind young women and bright young women who were having their own adventures and um, slaying their own dragons or not needing to slay the dragon after all. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we, um, so I sent Kate that email and I heard back almost straight away from Kate saying, oh my goodness, so am I. <laughs> and Kate, you'd been, um, you'd been going back and finding those tales to retell. Um, and that felt like the most magical um, a, a connection, I suppose, right there. That's right. It was like the universe had brought us us together and yeah. I must admit you know so I've been wanting for a long time to retell these old fairy tales I didn't want to impose our modern feminist sensibilities on top of the existing story I wanted to discover stories that had always carried um, these themes of you know feminine agency in their heart and when I'd been I spent quite a bit of time exploring Alorina's art, I was hoping that she would say to me, you know, I basically said to her, well, I've been writing these stories, but I, I can't create art. Mm -hmm. And of course, I was hoping that Lorena would say to me, well, I've been creating art, but I can't write them. Mm -hmm. It was just uh, a wonderful kind of discovery of each other at, at the perfect time for us. Yeah. We began to, to collaborate. Um, and the months went past and we would explore different stories. Lorena would send me art and I would send her stories and together we built, um, we put together seven stories, which I thought was the perfect number, lovely fairy tale number. And then I said, well, now we have to find a publisher. And because our whole, I mean, at this point in time, Lorena and I had never met all of our all of our engagement has had been through technology email twitter facebook etc and so i thought well why don't i just test the waters and so i put a post up on facebook that said i have long wanted to publish a collection of unjustly forgotten um fairy tales that have uh themes of of feminine empowerment at their heart. I wonder if anyone would ever want to publish a book like that. And literally within seconds, we had a response um, from Monique Mulligan at Serenity Press going, yes, 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 we want to publish this book. And it, it, again, it just felt so right. It, it, it felt so natural and so serendipitous that, you know, I think that we were, I sent them an outline that day and we signed within a week or I think so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah was that Vasilisa yes or was there yeah yeah so the the um the marriage of and I use that word deliberately because it's a, I think it's a very fairy tale word the marriage of Kate's research and words and Lorena's research and her artwork I, I just think it's an absolutely perfect match it's 